Okay. Now let's consider the method of integration of the function. The first function, 1 by x square plus a square. See, before we start any problem on integration, we should call the given function as i. Let i be equal to, now you are going to integrate, so put the integral sign, 1 over x square plus a square and you are performing integration with respect to x, so put dx there. So the problem, the function looks like this after you put the integral sign. Now when you observe this problem, the denominator is x square plus a square. Remember, wherever in any problem on integration, if you have a component as x square plus a square, the compulsory step is to put x equals a tan theta. This is a step that you should remember. If problem has x square plus a square, then we usually put x equals a tan theta. Now differentiating with respect to theta. So I have dx by d theta equals a into secant square theta. Differential coefficient of tan theta is secant square theta. Now I want the value of this dx. So take out dx from this expression. It is a secant square theta into d theta. So dx is a secant square theta into d theta. Okay. x is equal to a tan theta implies, you know, x is equal to a tan theta. So theta is tan inverse of x by a. Because tan theta equals x by a, therefore theta equals tan inverse of x by a. Let us keep this value aside. Now, let us substitute dx in the given expression and x as a tan theta. So, this implies i equals integral for dx. I write a secant square theta into d theta divided by x is we have put as a tan theta. So, it is a square tan square theta plus this a square as it is or next step i is equal to integral a secant square theta d theta in the numerator. I will write it as it is divided by, now here I have a square tan square theta plus a square. So, I will take a square as a common factor in the denominator, a square into, now it becomes 1 plus tan square theta. Tan square theta plus 1 is same as 1 plus tan square theta. I have taken a square common factor or i equals, I will cancel 1a and a here, integral 1 by a into secant square theta into d theta and 1 plus tan square theta we know that it is nothing but secant square theta or i equals 1 by a into integral 1 by a is a constant so I can take it outside the integral sign now secant square theta secant square theta cancel out you get d theta therefore i equals 1 by a now let us integrate d theta, integration of d theta, integral d theta is theta. Now since integration is over, from this step I will add constant c of integration. So i equals 1 by a. Now finally I will substitute what theta is. Theta is tan inverse of x by a. Tan inverse of x by a plus c. So what is the final outcome? The final outcome is if the given function is 1 over x square plus a square or integral dx by x square plus a square, then the answer is 1 by a tan inverse of x by a plus c. This is the answer.